Hi there, my name is Johnny from Man and Machine. In this video, we're going to be looking at three new updates to AutoCAD 2022 uh, that I feel really push integration um, across Autodesk's platforms um, and also collaboration across teams as well. Um, they're the kind of things that are going to make communication a lot more easy using AutoCAD 2022. Uh, so the three, day, three updates we're going to be looking at are the integration with Autodesk Docs, um, so the way that that ties in with the information you're storing in Autodesk Docs. Um, we're also going to look then at the ability to be able to share drawings with other team members. Um, so that's been made a lot more easy now in AutoCAD 2022 as well. And then third of all, we're going to be looking at Trace, a new feature that allows you to mark up drawings um, wherever you are. So um, as lockdown eases, I guess that could be in a pub uh, or something like that. You can use your mobile devices to create markups, communicate with your team effectively, and be able to pick those markups quite easily uh, when you're either back in the office or when you have access to um, full AutoCAD 2022. Um, so start off, um, Autodesk Docs integration, number one on the list of things to look through. Um, the user interface, the home page now in AutoCAD 2022, allows you to just head straight to your Autodesk Docs projects. It also ties into BIM 360 um, Docs projects as well, um, but the interface has been made much, much easier to find what you're looking for in those projects and the projects that you might be looking for as well. Um, so what I have here is a project that I'm working on. I've got some DWGs and I can just open up the drawings that are seeing in the cloud directly from this interface. If you haven't started using Autodesk Docs, just do be aware that it is now in your AEC collection. So this is something that if you have the AEC collection, you can do. You can host your um, AutoCAD files in Autodesk Docs and work on them directly from the cloud. So if I open up this Autodesk Docs drawings here, uh, it doesn't take very long to open up the cloud. These aren't the biggest files. Um, we can see we have a project to start working on. So first of all, integration with Autodesk Docs, really, really nice. And now that that's with the AEC collection, that's available to a lot more people um, than previously. So once you're inside uh, AutoCAD 2022, if you need to then share this back to, Auto, uh, to Autodesk Docs, uh, it's very easy to do. You can hit save, that's gonna save it back to Autodesk Docs. Um, but you do have the option to actually upload the individual layouts that you have in the project you're working on as well. So if you did want to share those layouts to um, the cloud, then you can actually do that now uh, with this push to Autodesk Docs in your Collaborate tab. So that's going to allow you to upload your sheets um, directly to Autodesk Docs. So the integration now with um, the new platform Autodesk Docs is really, really nice in AutoCAD 2022. So that's the first feature I'd really like to just mention. There's a bit more in terms of functionality there uh, in terms of showing you how you could upload the sheets. But really, I just want to get across that that Autodesk Docs integration is very, very nice now. Uh, so number two on the list was the ability to be able to share drawings. So this is a really nice feature. If you do have teams or people that you need to share this drawing with um, very quickly, um, just maybe on the fly, just maybe get some feedback about it. So if I click on the share drawing in my Collaborate tools up here, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a window that will allow me to share a link. And that link will either uh, allow the recipient to view only or edit and also save a copy. Um, so really what this is allowing you to do is to, to get this to somebody who might need to view it. Um, so I could send this to somebody and they could open that up on, on a mobile device using the AutoCAD application. Um, and it's just sent via a link. And you can preview that before you send it as well so you can be sure about what you're actually sending across. So this really ties into that integration that I've been talking about. So that's number two on the features list. So number three on the list is gonna be Trace. Uh, now this feature is really nice if you wanna make sure that all the communication on that particular drawing has been kept in one place. So if you're communicating markups, um, from a design manager back to a designer and you want all of those markups to be kept uh, throughout the entire um, life of the drawing to be able to refer to, then Trace is really going to be useful for that. So the first thing to mention is that you can um, you can add traces via the mobile app. So I'm going to use um, my uh, iPad here to create a trace and then I'm going to pick that trace up in the drawing that I have in the background. So I'm using Autodesk Docs to host the DWG uh, so I can pick up the same DWG from oh, Autodesk Docs here. Um, I could have shared this also. Um, so inside of my application here, 
All I need to do if I want to create a trace is on the far right hand side, I've got the tabs. The second one down is traces. At the top here, I can click new trace. And then what I need to do is then to add a trace, which is a set of notes or things that I would like to communicate to somebody who's working on this drawing. Um, it could be used for different things, uh, but I really kind of see it maybe as being used as something for uh, communicating markups back to uh, the designer to be able to make those changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a rev cloud uh, down here in the bottom corner. So if I just tap to start, create my little cloud. I could add some notes. I could add other things in here as well. But once I finish the trace, I just need to hit the tick at the top. Once I've also finished the trace, I do need to save this back to uh, AutoCAD, Autodesk Docs. And then I need to head to my uh, AutoCAD 2022, perhaps as the designer in this case, and then pick that notation up. So now to use that trace feature or we'll pick up those trace um, components inside of AutoCAD 2022, all I need to do is head to the Collaborate tab and find the trace palettes. And in here, I'm gonna have any traces that were created on mobile devices by anyone in my team. So I can click on trace five here and I'm gonna see that markup over the door. So this is really useful now if I was a designer having to make changes, I've had my markups created in here. I can make all my changes. I can actually put these into the background and work on my model with this, uh, with these markups in the background, make the changes and then come out with the trace. And then what I could do is then inform my uh, manager I've made these changes, etc., and it can go through the whole process over again. And what you would expect to see is uh, a list of traces on the right with uh, a good naming convention, which will allow you then to pick up any markups that were put back um, in over the duration of this drawing. So a really useful tool to keep all of those um, communications that have happened about this drawing in one nice, neat place. So they're the three features that I wanted to cover today. I hope this has been useful. Like I say, we've really just been covering what I feel is the integration side and, and how this uh, AutoCAD 2022 is really allowing teams to work together in a, in a way that's never been seen before. Um, so if you have any questions, if you'd like any discussions or demos on AutoCAD 2022, then please do get in touch with us here at Man and Machine. Thanks for listening. Bye.